Hello, Fawn Nation. My name is James, checking in with team number 2075, Enigma Robotics, here at the Michigan State Championship event. Enigma is no stranger to victory. They won Kentwood this year. They won their field last year at the World Championship. Here with me, I have Quinn, Noah, Isaac, and Flora to tell us a lot more about this awesome robot with a trap mechanism, under the bumper intake, great shooting, and so much more on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more and apply. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. All right, Quinn, why don't you get us started? Uh, give us a little bit of the note path. How does your intake work on your robot? Yeah, so the first part uh, that the note goes through is this under bumper intake here. Uh, the under bumper intake works sort of independently from this top part, so we have two pieces of it. This uh, intake can work if we're up against a wall, uh, if we're in an open field, just get quick control of the note. We also have a over the bumper intake that we can deploy. Uh, we'll tip it up here to show a little bit more of the under bumper intake. It, this is the basic mechanism that we're using. There's two of these, one on each side, and they are spring loaded out so that we can, in the starting configuration, have these in. Uh, with that, this is a friction drive. So inside of this printed part, there's a roller in the middle, which is how these two wheels spin together. Uh, and then as we intake, we actually squish the note to go through this under bumper intake and through the familiar. You guys do a lot of prototyping, I'm thinking then, with that compression there. Um, what was that process like for your team? Uh, yeah, so the first uh, prototype we made was of this. It was originally a single aluminum plate that was uh, belted with a timing pulley. We switched to this friction drive because there's only two and a half inches below the bumper there. We wanted to fit this in a pretty small space. So this friction drive here allows us to have the wheels in line instead of having to have a pulley off to the side. So that's where we went with that design. Uh, the conveyor was actually a lot less prototyping. That kind of worked uh, from the get-go. Uh, but I mean, just some small tweaks to get those to work together, yeah. Fantastic engineering enigma. Can we do a little demo, see how it goes into your robot? So this is just using the under bumper intake. By itself, you can see it sucks it right in there. Noah, why don't you get us going now, following that note path into your shooter on your robot. So for our shooter, we have our feeder here. We designed this so the pass off could be very simple, very quick. So once the note comes in, as you saw earlier, these would just feed in and then it'd be stationed here. We have sensors stationed on the sides. Those are to allow us to be able to know when notes are in so we aren't shooting them out randomly at different times. We added our wheels here. We did a lot of iterations starting out, trying to see what would give us spin on the notes or what would give us more accuracy. And we fiddled around with a ton of uh, wheels and then we settled for these. We have ramped it up to 17% uh, more power so we can shoot farther. So we were seeing issues where we had to shoot too close and we wanted to be able to shoot farther away. So we played around with that to get better bonifications for that. The pivot drive, is we have a motor uh, down here and essentially what it's doing is it's spinning these gears which is spinning the chains on either side we wanted to to make it secure when we're shooting so we aren't having any wobbling or anything while we're shooting to make it easier we added our encoder separate and that allows it to spin so we aren't risking breaking our gears they are 3d printed so we want to make sure those are as safe as possible. Isaac, do you want to tell us a little bit more about what the trap looks like for your team? Yep. Um, so our trap works with the same mechanism. This uh, mechanism actually pivots up. Uh, we use these uh, uh, TPU uh, zip tie looking things to open our uh, open the trap. We actually drive up the wall with our shooter wheels. That allows us to reach the trap. Uh, we can, and we have these uh, arms that are spring loaded up. They grab the chain, they are ratcheting, so that as the chain goes in, it ratchets and grabs the grabs the chain, and it won't let go. This climb allows us, we won't, as soon as we're hooked, we basically get the trap because we uh, we can't fall off the chain, which is nice. Isaac, thanks for telling us a little bit more about the trap. Flora, do you want to tell us a little bit more about what makes the programming on this robot so unique and so powerful? So we use two line lights, as you can see, front and back. 
front is to detect the notes in front of the robot. And the, there's one cool feature about the front light light is that we can auto detect the notes and that we can auto align it and then intake it. It drives itself to the note and intake to the conveyor. And then for the back light right, we check the distance between the speaker and this robot and we have a different speed map and angle map in different meters and different distance for from the speaker yep what else do you guys do uh as far as like autons uh, uh, what sensors on the robot what does that look like for enigma so we we use a sensor to check the notes so if there's a note in here we we say that we're gonna outtake it and if there's a note, no notes here, we're gonna intake it. And then if there's a note in the feeder, but not in the shooter, we're gonna roll the feeder off and then shoot it. Fantastic. Thank you. Well, Enigma Robotics, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. Fantastic machine this year. Doing real well here at the Aptive Division at the first of Michigan State Championship. We can't wait to see how you guys continue to do. Best of luck. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us. My name's James, signing out from Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineered their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to Kettering.edu first to learn more and apply.